Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. Uh, among the stories we're following for you this week, uh, Lazy Boy recorded its fiscal third quarter numbers, which were very, very strong. Uh, the company reported 467.6 million in sales, a 13% increase over the prior year. Uh, among the factors the company cited as uh, impacting those sales were its uh, acquisition of Joybird and uh, the acquisition of 10 stores that had, it has added to its company-owned furniture store network. But it speaks to a trend in vertical integration of the supply chain. When you look at what Joybird represents in terms of uh, a manufacturing operation that goes direct to the consumer, and when you look at Lazy Boy taking greater control over its uh, com company-owned stores, bringing more stores under the company-owned banner, uh, that's an interesting development. And as we look at the impact of sellers like Amazon and Wayfair that are taking costs out of the system, selling product more efficiently, um, and lowering costs, the ability to remove cost becomes more and more important. Many companies are now cutting out that middleman and going direct to the consumer because each time a member of uh, a portion of the supply chain touches that product, the cost goes up. And so it's critically important that each portion of that supply chain is adding value. One of the other interesting stories that we're following this week is uh, people have been speculating, where did Broyhill end up? When Authentic Brands Group purchased the uh, assets of the Thomasville Group. Almost immediately there was an announcement that the Broyhill brand had been turned around to an undisclosed retailer. Well, now we know that that retailer is Big Lots. While we've certainly had some people kind of bemoan the move of Broyhill to a uh, promotional retailer such as Big Lots, I would suggest that it certainly is better than having the brand go away. And I think certainly Big Lots has made a concerted effort to uh, increase its furniture presence, invest more in making itself a more relevant uh, and more attractive furniture home. And so I, I think it's going to be very interesting to see what happens to the Broyhill brand and how Big Lots utilizes that brand to enhance its overall furniture assortment. The other story that we're following this week is uh, an announcement by Temper Sealy CEO Scott Thompson responding to a question uh, about the company's relationships with Matt Firm, uh, a relationship that was ended two years ago but over the last year or two has been apparently moving toward a reconciliation. Thompson said that relations between the two were normalizing, uh, leading a number of analysts to suggest that the two will be back in bed together, pun intended, uh, by the end of the year. Let me just for a minute read you Scott Thompson's statement. He says, I think when it comes to the mattress firm relationship, I would say it's trending well. Uh, the communications continue to be constructive. In fact, the communications have probably never been better. And we're normalizing the relationship between the two companies. So they've settled the litigation and um, it sounds like there could be a kiss and make up in their future. Till next week, I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business 